Here we are, I'm Bobby, we're at Iridescent in New York City, and today we're going to build boats. We're going to build our boats with some very simple materials, but these simple materials can be used in many different ways, lots of different sizes and shaped boats are possible. Okay, we're going to make the frame of the boat out of this metal wire. Now what could you do, we happen to have a spool of nice thick steel wire here, but what could you do, do you think, if you were at home and you didn't have a spool of wire like this, what could you maybe use to substitute? Oh, hangers. Yeah. You, if you have metal hangers at home, instead of using this wire, you can just use metal hangers, right? Okay. But we have wire here. Uh, in order to cut the wire and to bend it, we have these pliers, which can cut the wire if we put it in like that. Squeeze. Cuts it off. Okay. You should always be careful with the pliers, because it can squeeze your fingers or cut your fingers, so use it. Could. They're pretty strong things. If it can cut metal, it can probably cut your skin, right? Because your skin's not as hard as metal. So you got to be careful. Uh, we've got tape, and pretty much any kind of tape would probably do. Masking tape is nice. And we've got plastic wrap. Plastic wrap um, can be stretched over the hull, the shape of the boat that you make. So the idea is you're going to make the sort of skeleton of a boat. And a real boat, by the way, it starts with making sort of a metal skeleton, and then you put plates of metal around it. The size and the shape of it is up to you. Can't build anything too huge because then it won't fit in our container. But outside of that, I want you to try to figure out. Again, the goal is to try to make a boat that can hold the most weight, and we're going to do that by maximizing the boat's what? Displacement. Displacement. The amount of water the boat pushes out of the way. There you go. Okay. Nice cut. Okay. Oh. Now, if you want to make a particularly tight turn in the metal or grip it very strongly, pliers are good for that too. Or, if the metal's not really thick, you can usually just bend it by hand. Now, how do you want to attach these two together? You want to use the pliers, okay. I'll face it towards you. How are you going to attach them? I'm going to twist it. Okay. Two very different designs are emerging here. Mm -hmm. Sort of like banana looking, and that's like half a basketball looking. So as you're building this boat, how much water do you think it's going to be displacing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your finger just pushed it. Well, we'll find out. Yeah, we will. <laughs> okay. was <laughs> You guys have both built boats. You've got two different designs going on. Could you introduce your design, please? My design is a gondola, a, bo a boat that is from France. I think maybe you mean Italy, like Venice. Okay, now in order to test how much weight it can hold, we're just going to try put some, putting some rocks in there. Let's see what it looks like. One more rock. Um, do I need um, a penny? <laughs> uh, I guess if you really want to. It's already full. Tiny little bits of weight. No, it's not. Okay, it's a rock and a penny. Keep going, keep going. No, it's not. It's a rock for Keep going. It's a rock for me. One penny. What is the difference in displacement between the gondola design and this big? Does so it take up more space or take up less space? It takes up more space. Okay, so if our idea about displacement is right, will this be like hold more weight or hold less weight? Let's see. Let's see the so this large boat has a big frame. On this side, on this side. Okay. And it's able to keep a lot of water pushed out of the way. 
And as it's pushing water out of the way, what's the water pushing back? What's it doing? It's going like this, right? It's going like this, right? Because it's pushing down on the water and water's pushing back up. What are you going to change to make your boat able to hold more cargo? We are going to stick this to this. You're going to do a better job of yeah, sticking the plastic on it. It seems like you're doing pretty much the same design, but bigger. Yeah. When I look at your gondola, I'm wondering how can we make it, what do we want to maximize in order to make it hold the most rocks? Do you remember the, that D word? That okay? We want to maximize the displacement. So how can we make the gondola take up more space, take up more water? We can we make, we can make the sides more larger. Yeah, that's certainly one way we could do it. What else? We could add more metal. It doesn't We don't need to only use this. We could use this whole Okay, so it looks like you want to make like a circular thing under there. Yeah, so it so it can hold it up, so it can hold, hold the rocks. Interesting. We're ready. Yeah? yeah. Ready for a retest? Yeah. Okay. So how's your redesign shift going? And it seems like it was reinforced more than it was redesigned. So I think that held a lot of rocks. Alright. So you have reinforced your old design. Yep. Which is actually, does it displace a lot of water or a little water? A lot. A lot. We can tell when we undo your work for a moment. If we put this in here, what is going to happen to the water level? At it's going to come up. Now let's watch. Get the water at the edge. It's going up, 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 up. It is. Alright, pull it out and it's back down. This is displacing a lot of water, it's taking the space of a lot of water. That's why it's able to hold so much weight. This is heavy. Okay, so it's got a different shape. It's got sort of a reinforcing circle thing going on, no, and it's yeah. larger than the old gondola. So let's see if it holds more or less weight. So far, it's holding a lot more weight than the old gondola. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Gondola leak. Almost takes a Titanic. Uh, and so it's kind of like the Titanic. <laughs> Do you think, does this displace more water or less water or the same amount as the first hull design? Displace more the water. Same. Really? Well, so the why the same and why more? Why do you think these are your answers? Well, because it has the same skeleton. Okay. And it's basically the same. And why do you think it displaces more? I think more because um, when the first time we were testing it out, the, we just, we felt, there was less, um, there was less amount of rocks than the second time we tried it, there was more amount of rocks. Okay, so it seems like just from the evidence it displaces more. So I actually think I agree with you. I think, I think it displaced the same amount of water, but um, it was stronger. So even when you were starting to fill it with rocks and fill it with rocks, it was the same shape, so it's the same overall structure. But imagine building a, uh, you know, battleship out of paper versus out of metal. They'll displace the same amount of water, it's the same size thing, but one of them's going to last longer. The paper one, like, can poke a hole through it. The metal one, not so much. If you wanted to build a ship that went very fast, so it doesn't need to hold a lot of weight, it's not a cargo ship, it's like a speedboat. So which of these do you think would go faster through the water? Why would this go faster? Because it has like a sort of a point at the top, yes. and it would just slice right through the water. Very good, and as we've seen, we didn't test for speed, but which one would hold more cargo? So this is why you can see why maybe cargo ship ships look different than speedboats. They look really different. You sort of have what's probably a more fancy, like, cool, fast hull design, and you have a, like, really sturdy cargo hull design. They both have their advantages and disadvantages as hull designs. They're both very successful.